Hey uh, this week, welcome to this week's video. Um, this week I'm going to show you how I health check my guinea pigs um, and bath them. So I've noticed that, hello Luna. Noticed that Eclipse has got um, a ball patch on her back, so I'm going to just bath them all to make sure that they haven't got anything fungal going on and if it carries on obviously bring her to the vets. Um, so today the piggies are going to have weight check, how, um, nail trims and nail checks and a bath. Um, so when having a bath, it's important to note to make sure that you make the house as warm. So I've got all the radiators on right now. I've got something to dry them with and a hair dryer if I can't get them as dry as I would like. Um, because they are very sensitive to cold. So they could get a chill very easily and they could get sick. Um, and I don't want them to happen to the herd. So I am going to check their weights. Um, I would recommend a weekly rate check or every two weeks if you can't manage weekly. Um, because... Hi Luna. Good girl. Weight, weight loss is the easiest way to know whether a guinea pig is sick because because of them being a prey animal they tend to hide their illnesses pretty well uh, and often you won't know until it's too late just by looking at them but with things like doing a weight check you'll be able to see whether they are poorly or not um, so I'm going to check them. I have this app on my phone here. It's the guinea pig app so I'm just going to use this. when it loads so just you know, focus there we go just click on my guinea pigs and then have a more list we'll go to Luna first and on here you'll be able to see that she has her last weight in and she was 909 grams on here so I'm just going to put on there uh, and then you can put on there their pictures, their favourite foods, any vet visits that they've had, um, any accidents that they've had, so that you can keep it all um, logged in this app. I'm not sponsored by them, it's just easier for me to keep a track of it so I don't have to remember two lots of lizards and four guinea pigs weights. If I've got it all on my phone, then we go to the vet so I can let them know the last weight, and then they can weigh them there as well to double check. So. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly uploads, leave a link and a comment down below on anything that you would like to see, and uh, let's get started. So I've just got some ordinary kitchen scales, um, and I find using ordinary human nail clippers easy, or easy enough for the girls and Simba, so I'm just going to see which one I can catch first. Um, they are going to go in my cat carrier that's here because they need a bath so I'm going to bath them all together so we don't have any disagreements about smells and things so I'm just going to pop them straight into there so I can carry them straight all the way into the bath so let's get started so I've got Luna first so I'm going to open well, I've already got Luna open is this Luna? yep I've already got Luna open on my app turn these on good girl Lily in. So your weight is 900. Good job. Let's check those pores. Good girl, Luna. Let's move you down so you can guys can see. Please don't eat my phone. So, oops, sorry, darling. Just gonna click her claws. That's helpful. Good girl. The idea is to be very patient with them. Good girl. Good girl. Just need this one. Oh, and then you're all done. Good girl. The rest of you've done yourself. Well done. And there for me. Good girl. You're going to have a bath. So Luna was 900 grams. So her last log was 909. So I'm not worried about that because it's only a 9 gram drop in two weeks so that's fine let's get the next one next I have caramel use caramels right let's do your weight first Baba. I know I'm sorry hey 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 it's okay hey hey hey, hey. it's okay I got you hey In the bowl, please. One thousand one hundred and thirty-three. Okay. 
you've dropped a little bit too, but that's fine because it's not too much. I'll keep an eye on you. Just check those pores. Good girl. So you get the general gist of things. I've weighed them on the wet scales, cut their claws. Uh, I won't bore you with the other two. Um, I will just get them ready for the bath. I'll do the other two off camera and then get them ready for the bath and how I'm going to bath them. So welcome to the bathroom. Yeah, I've just put some water in the tub. Um, it's lukewarm. I use the elbow technique that you would use for a baby. Um, dip it in there to find out whether it's warm enough to the touch and doesn't burn you. Do I anything too hot so it doesn't, obviously don't scold the guinea pig's feet. Um, literally just put enough to cover their toes in there so they can soak their feet. Um, so if there's any crusty bits on their feet from trampling in the, or the hay in that when they bury themselves, that will come off. Um, I'm going to bath them all together. Now the reason I bath them all together is because I'm going to technically change their scent. So what I don't want risking is where there's a different scent on them, the herd breaks, um, and then there's fighting and squabbling and then re having to resettle themselves. So if I bath them all together, we stop all that. Sorry, I'll read to you. We stop all that because I'm bathing them in the same smell, so they'll have the same scent when they come out, so it shouldn't disrupt the herd. Um, so let's get them in the bath. Um, I'd like to stress that guinea pigs don't need baths a lot. Twice a year is just sufficient um, for them. So I'm going to lay the cat carrier in here. And then we encourage them to come out. Um, there you are, so all four of them are in there. So let's get started so they're not in here for too long. regularly would never guinea bath my guinea pigs more than twice a year because they do that themselves. So let's do Them out. I'm just gonna rinse it with the water that's in the bath and then dry them off properly. Gonna lift, it, lift them out one by one, dry them off as best as well as I can, and um, put them back with the heating on so that they can stay warm. Oh, so I say, not dry them off as well as I can, dry them off uh, completely, and then put the heating on so that they stay warm 
um, while they warm their body temperatures back up to where it should be. So Luna was here first. Oh, I know, baby. Um, and you can use a hairdryer on these guys, just very low setting, very far away, the lowest heat setting, the lowest speed. Because Eclipse decided to jump back into the water, I lost my towel in there. I only had two on both of them and they're extremely wet. So I am going to hair dry them. I'm going to move everybody next to my room to hair dry. But we're just going to turn the sound off so you can see. Sorry, that was my bathtub emptying. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to hair dry them through the cage at a distance so that they can be warmed up. So they're in this yellow cat carrier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hair dryer on the lowest setting and blast it, not blast it, push it through, I mean, that's not even a word, do it at the holes on the side of the cat carrier at a distance and the warm, the least heat he, heat setting on my hair dryer and move it backwards and forwards so they can dry off properly. Um, I'm gonna mute the sound on this and maybe put some music on. I believe it wasn't this is the hair dryer. So the piggies are just finishing off their drying. I've just put them a uh, reasonable distance and in front of the radiator because they're all on. It's been freezing at the minute. I figured while they were out, we might as well just clean this. So I'm going to do a time lapse of me cleaning them out while I wait for the next piece to dry to do uh, the purple one over here. This orange one is clean. Well, about as clean as it gets with piggies. Still dirty, um, 
but I do have to go and get some stuff at the shop. Um, they're also a bit short on Richmond and stuff. I know that I need to go and buy some more. Fortunately, vet bills have had to come first, and the animals that are in my care has had to come first. They've got to hide the stuff that are currently being washed because I make sure they're washed regularly, even if they are dirty, just to be safe. So let's go and put the herd back. They are drier than they look. They're going to be a bit spiky, are they? Because they will breathe themselves after this, believe it or not. See if they want a treat. And they will talk to me. Anything that's to do is fill up your water bottles. So I'm going to give them my lease. Yeah, I suppose simply rewards. You can try and these, I love them. Is that all of them out? Does anyone want a treat? Oh, and then obviously I need to put hay in. Good boy. Good girl, Luna. Can I put one? Come on. Come on. Do you want this? Are you not talking to me? It's alright, I'll come to you. And on that note, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!